ஹலோ காய்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு ஹொரைசான் ஜீரோ டான் ஓகே லாஸ்ட் எபிசோட் வந்து நம்ம எப்படி இந்த வில்லேஜுக்குள்ளே வந்துட்டோம் நோரா வில்லேஜ் நம்ம ட்ரைபோட வில்லேஜ் நம்ம வந்து இப்போ ப்ரூவிங்ஸுக்கு போய் அட்டன் பண்ணிவிட்டு நம்ம எதுக்கு வந்தோம் நம்ம எங்கேருந்து நம்ம அம்மா அப்பா யார் எல்லாமே நம்ம இந்த எபிசோடில் ட்ரை பண்ணுவோம் தெரிஞ்சுக்கிறதுக்கு அதுக்கு முன்னாடி முதல்ல ப்ரூவிங்கை வின் பண்ணணும் ஸோ இப்போ போயிட்டு வந்து நம்ம வந்து மேட்ரியாக் லாஜுக்கு போகணும் ஸோ இந்த பக்கம் போய் பார்ப்போம் ஓகே இப்போ தான் வந்து கேம் வந்து சம்வாட் பிக்கப் ஆகிருக்கு சூப்பராக ஸ்டோரி இன்னமும் இருக்குது முக்கியமா சாப்பாடு <laughs> Why do you have to go climbing houses? No, no, the mallard. Oh, not supposed to go climbing on other people's roofs, huh? Kill on saw para po. Get down from there now. Oh, that's hey. just hey. what you want, isn't it? For me to fall on my head. You have to tell this when I'm gone. Kill kara sodranga. Get to bedu. All life came from all mother. People, machines and beasts all were her children. They lived alongside each other. in the comfort of her wild embrace but some grew restless though they took of her bounty they wanted more these were the faithless the machines had whispered to them promised to serve them to make them a new world better than the one all mother provided a world of metal they told the faithless they would do all the work for them feed them shelter them give them a life of ease of plenty and so the faithless left with the machines only the true children the mothers and fathers of the nora stayed with all mother at first the machines did as they had promised they built cities great and terrible monuments to their sins but they would not serve the faithless for long a king rose up among the machines a machine more powerful than any other the metal devil and then the faithless served him served the machines that was not enough for the metal devil he wanted all to serve him and tried to tempt the true children away from all mother they would not go they gathered on the mountainside to cling to her and prayed more devoted than ever the metal devil raged louder than thunder in his fury he came to confront all mother intending to kill her she struck him down forever as you know for his lifeless body is up there still frozen in shame and defeat the machines were driven mad by the death of their king and their minds became as wild as beasts the faithless abandoned their cities forced to wander the world without the care of the machines only we remain the true children of all mother we built all this with the hands that she gave us machines are to be hunted metal to be used for scrap for craft but never to be adored and we stay true to her laws resolute in our prayers don't we for the dangers are never over still the faithless envy our sacred land and covet it and year upon year the machines anger grows searching for little more boys and girls who have not behaved <gasps> what is that a machine among us now No, no. These old eyes are mistaken. 
நீங்க <laughs> You know I'll be rooting for you in the proving tomorrow. And wait to see the looks on some of these faces when you win. And if you need any last minute supplies, uh, I'm your man. Okay, need to go that. So, mother's heart. I thought you preferred the wilds. Well, a man can't drink alone all the time, can he? Truth is, I get lonely once in a while. There, I admitted it. Don't think less of me. I won't hold it against you. If you give me a discount. You can't be. I'm joking, Karst. It's good to see you. <laughs> Don't go soft on me. Okay, but you have a little bit of a trip on that. Take your shards. Okay, okay, now we get our new one. In a moment, we shall bless the proving. But first, we have guests to welcome. For two years, we have been at peace with Akarja. It is time to restore our bonds of trade with Meridian. These envoys come to us under a banner of peace. Peace is peace. <coughs> An annunciation of gratitude written Killers by the hand slavers. of yeah. Sun King yeah. of Ours. Killers and slavers! Hey, hey, Luminance hold of... your fruit, nor... Oh, no no more 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 more. Now, I'm Azaran, not Karja. So I'll put it to you straight. The 13th Sun King was a murderous bung. Oh, he was. He was a tyrant and a monster. He raided my tribe for blood sacrifice, just like yours. My own sister was taken. I hated the Karja. But the 13th King is dead. Two years now. Who killed him? The 14th. Yeah. Not because he, he lusted for power, but because someone had to put an end to his father's atrocities. Yeah! yeah. The message that this poor priest means to read is an apology. Straight from the lips of the 14th king. So please, can't you lend him your ears? Story. Super நீங்க <laughs> 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 Yes, you're not. If you've gone delving in the ruins of the metal world. What's wrong? Apologies. Ah, uh, malfunction. Oh, Lynn. You just said you have fun with locals, are we? I'll... I'll come back. Wait. No. Uh, we'll talk later. Have to go. Whoa. All right, guess he's working over than I thought. <laughs> hey. You got the same trinket that Olin has on his head. Since when did those become fashionable? His name is Olin? Who is he? And where did he get one of these? Ah, he's just a scrounger with friends in high places. Now he spends half his time digging for artifacts, the other half drinking or dicing. As for the trinket, well, I guess he dug it up somewhere. Just a weird old jewel he sticks on his face. I mean, no offense. It looks great on you. <laughs> Okay. Olin, I'm going to tell you know about Olin. Is he really that interesting? I'm starting to get jealous. 
Well, he scours the wilds for ruins, digs up stuff, and sells it to nobles. When he's not scrounging, he's scouting. Exactly the skills you want the man guiding your expedition to have. I've known him for a few years. He's a loyal companion, cares for his family, holds his drink well enough. I like him, but besides that, not much to tell. Okay. Uh, nice armor. I've never seen armor like yours before. You've never seen Vanguard steel? Well, let me introduce you. Ring locked, impact protected, sturdy enough to choke a sawtooth. It has to be. The Vanguard of the Sun King's best. Life takers and machine breakers to a one. You might even give a Nora war maid like you more trouble than she can handle. <laughs> With all that metal to slow you down? I doubt it. Yeah, hard to say. From where I'm standing, looks like a pretty even match. Okay, uh, quite a speech. I thought your friend was gonna go down in a hail of fruit, but you really calmed the crowd. Uh, thanks. I, I wasn't sure I could do it. The Nora is still pissed with the Karja about the Red Raids. And who can blame them? Okay, now uh, blessing. I should make my way to the blessing. Yeah. Look, maybe I shouldn't say this, but it's obvious that you don't belong in this backwater. I mean, you're smart. You're obviously capable. And, well, I mean, look at you. Uh, what are you talking about? You know what. All right, if you ever visit Meridian, look me up. I'll show you around, make introductions. It'll be a whole new life, if you want it. I'll even introduce you to my sister. She's got more connections than I do. I thought you said she was captured and killed by the last Sun King. Uh -huh. Ha! Captured, yes. Killed, no. It takes more than a few cards to finish Ursa. She got away. Now she's captain of the entire vanguard. That's quite a story. Maybe I'll tell it to you sometime over a drink. Anyway, I have to go to that blessing thing too. So, uh, see you around, maybe? Okay, but you know, backstory in the game is some backstory you get. So, in the very low, you can marry a single girl. You let the poor man on the panel. Okay, if you want to, you want to prove it, you want to prove it, you want to blessing it, you want to get under the okay. Let's start the blessing when all aspirants are in place. Hey, you're not getting there, get on. If they let me, but enough proving the giant for a poron, so number giant for no. I'm going to do the free loy. Take your place right there. The prayer lantern is yours. I made it for you. Sisters, aspirants, before each of you sits a prayer Hi. lantern crafted by your mother. Hi. In her honor, light uh. its flame. Okay, now we need the lamp. Pull it again. The lamp. I'm mad. I'm going to pray for it. For my mother, for myself, Satyamal, for Rasta. In honor of Rost. And all he did to help me get here. You know, that's what I do. Oh, mother, hear our prayer. What is the child but a mother's hope that takes flight? A glowing flame that climbs the air, set free to the wind, sailing the sky till it fades and falls. So, from one to another, Passes the chain of love. Okay, now proving the official giant banana. There's Owen. I have some questions. Owen, drink now. Owen, Owen, drink now. Okay, so we face it now. What the? Matrix, Teresa, get a face it now. I won't let the cards of fate slip. Hey, Loy. Now that the blessing has been made. You and I finally have a moment to speak. Okay, personal. I hope the ceremony personal. wasn't too unpleasant for you, given your circumstances. 
Okay, tripping the chassis na ma heart edpo. I found it beautiful. I can't say it was comfortable, but I could see the beauty of the ritual even so. It takes a generous heart, Aloy, to commend a ritual that venerates all that you were denied. All I'm saying is that it didn't bother me. I have bigger things to worry about than hearing the Nora mumble about their mothers. I see. Andiba. I imagine you must have questions for me then. Nariy questions irukke. Onnu na kekkara. Outcast in the proving. Modala outcast alla eppadi proving vandu join pannuvaanga. It surprises me the tribe lets outcasts run in the proving. It's not like the Nora to be so hospitable. It has always been law that any child outcast has this right as a means to rejoin the tribe. So far as I know, however, you are the first ever to exercise this right. I'm not surprised. I doubt many outcast children survive long enough in the wilds to come of age. I think rather it is because child outcasts are so rare. In all my years, I've only known of one other child who was cast out. A boy of 13 who killed his mother. Shit. But at the proving 5 years later, he did not appear. No. Oh. I'd be surprised if he survived very long on his own. But at least he had a chance. Other tribes would have simply executed him. It may be hard for you to accept Aloy. But the practice of shunning is relatively speaking humane. Humane. Oh, is it? Try it out for 18 years, Tirsa, and then let me know what you think. ஓகே முதல்ல நான் எதுக்கு கேஷ் அவுட் ஆகினேன் ஏன்னா நான் பிறந்ததுலேருந்தே கேஷ் அவுட் தான் நான் எப்படி ஆனேன் வாய் வாஸ் ஐ மேட் அன் அவுட் கேஸ்ட் அட் பர்த் டியர்ஸ் ஆர் வாட் க்ரைம் குட் ஐ ஹவ் கமிட்டட் ஈவன் பிஃபோர் ஐ வாஸ் போர்ன் ஏ லோ திஸ் இஸ் நாட் அ கொஸ்டின் ஐ கேன் ஆன்சர் ஆரம்பிச்சிட்டாங்க வாய் நாட் இட்ஸ் சிம்பிள் அனஃப் அண்ட் வாட் அபவுட் மை மதர் இஸ் ஷி ஹியர் டு நைட் வாட்சிங் மீ ஓர் இஸ் ஷி டெட் இஸ் ஷி ஹியர் ஓர் nowhere i am sure your mother is here with us if only in spirit she aren't all that's not really an answer is it just so you know tirsa the reason i'm here is to get answers real ones and when i win the proving i will demand them i know aloy i would expect nothing less okay kandipa vandha avanga amma ipo illa usuroda adu unda confirm therinju pochu ராஸ்டியா வந்து ஆகாஷ் ஆனா What about Rost? Why was he made an outcast? So he never told you? He said he swore an oath never to speak of it. Yes. As did I and the other matriarchs. I'm sorry Aloy. But Rost's past is another secret I must keep. அட ஏதா தான்டா சொல்வீங்க நீங்க? Okay, matriarch what you say? Rost told me that matriarchs don't just lead the tribe. What else do you do? We teach, offer counsel, give blessings. When necessary, we judge. Our only concern is the welfare of the tribe. Among our number this year, we count 3 high matriarchs and some 30 lesser matriarchs. What's the difference? Matriarchs are grandmothers with two generations of living progeny. But a high matriarch is a great grandmother with 3 or more generations to her name. thus do we speak for generations lending our opinions weight the high matriarchs most of all so the more children you have the more authority you get i guess that's one way to decide who leads a tribe why would there be any other okay uh lansra hit me yaar adu enakke therilla yaar undu why does lansra hate me so much what the punna she is a woman of extreme opinions more than that unnor matriarch avanga it's not my fault that i was born or that the matriarchs decided to cast me out i side with you in this matter but there are differences of opinion and any vote of the high matriarchs requires a majority okay ungala kekka dikella kedachi paadi badhi solla goodbye i should be going i'm sorry if i've been too harsh it's just I've wanted answers for so long. I know, child. You're not the only one who's waited years for this day. I will be praying for your success. Okay, you were going to face the wall. That blessing wasn't bad. Nice and short anyway. 
But I know a half dozen Asaram tinkers who could put on a better fireworks show. Oops. And I hope I'm not throwing a wet blanket on your sacred ritual. It was nice. Really. Okay, questions kept on. And I run a maladic Kedacha winter. Red rates, uh, the Kaja, first Kaja trip with the Kedula. If the Kaja have such a cruel history, how did you end up serving them? The last king and his men were butchers. But the new king wants peace. There's nothing cruel about that. Besides, the Karja don't just fight, they build. But take Meridian. Next to it, everything else is just a bunch of sticks and stones. Okay, Meridian, Mabrina. Just how big is Meridian? What's it like? Other city. Where do I even start? My tribesmen are masters of the forge, the best tinkers in the world. But when it comes to building, the Karja have us beat. The city soars over a canyon with more bridges than the Nora have roads and buildings tall as mountains. And across the valley stands the spire, like a blade thrust into the sky reflecting the sun. You really owe it yourself to see it. So consider that a challenge. Or an invitation. Oh, the Kanti Pan the city lamp in the game launch check on journey. Uh, the red raids. I never heard anything about red raids growing up. What were those? Your tribe was at war and you didn't even know? <laughs> were you kept hidden away? Did you have overprotective parents or something? I grew up as an outcast, shunned by the tribe. Oh, yeah, I've heard the Nora do that. That seems cruel, if you ask me. But even an outcast knows about the derangement of the machines, right? How they get deadlier every year? Well, the mad Sun King figured if he spilled enough blood to the Sun God, it would calm the machines. Didn't work. But for years, he raided the tribes and took captives for sacrifice. My sister among them. The Nora put up a good fight, but lives were lost. Derangement. You said the machines have been getting more dangerous every year. Yeah, I don't have to tell you that, right? First I've heard of it. Oh, sorry. I just assumed everyone knew. Well, the way I hear it, 15, 20 years ago, the machines weren't always pissed off like they are now. Okay. When a hunter came at them, they'd spook and run. So it was hard to take them down, but not dangerous, so long as he was smart enough to jump out of the way. But then the derangement starts up and everything changes. Now, when a hunter fires a shot, the machines snarl and charge right at him. A few more years pass and they start attacking people on sight. Going anywhere becomes a major risk. If that wasn't bad enough, entirely new kinds of machines start showing up. Bigger, meaner, and heavily armed. Like the sawtooth. Yeah, ten years ago, that one. But every couple of years or so, something worse comes along. Believe me. So what's making it happen? Well, no one knows. And the machines, well, they aren't telling. Okay, su super. Tell me about the derangement again. Well, the way I hear it, 15, 20 years ago, the machines weren't always pissed off like they are now. Okay, so when every a two years ago, the pull pull mission was done. Sawed tooth, then the patrol ship was done. So it was hard. But now, when the two of them pull pull, the pull pull mission was done. So long as he was smart enough to jump out of the way. But every time, who controls it? Who is it? No one knows. But then, the derangement starts up, and everything changes. Now, when a hunter fires a shot, the machines snarl and charge right at it. Yeah, like, like, few more years, if that wasn't bad. Like the sawtooth. Yeah, ten years. So what's making? No one knows. Okay, but the, how did the raid end? Uh, so raid what happened? Say? How did it all end? The Mad King's own son united Karja rebels with Asaram freebooters. And together we did the impossible, took back Meridian and killed the crazy old king. So now the son sits on the throne and it's a big improvement. Under Avad there's no more sacrifices, no more slavery. People from all tribes are welcome in Meridian now, even Nora exiles. You really should come visit. Okay. I want to ask you about something you said before. Ask away. 
இல்லை அது கேட்டாச்சு கொஷின்ஸ் கேட்டுக்கலாம் ஆஸ்மர் ஃப்ரீ பூட்டர் ஹூ இஸ் ஆஸ்மரா ஆஸ்மரா தட்ஸ் மை ட்ரை ஃபார் டு தி நார்த் வெஸ்ட் வி ஆர் குட் அட் 3 திங்ஸ் ஆர்குயிங் வர்க்கிங் ஸ்டீல் அண்ட் ப்ரூவி அண்ட் ஃப்ரீ பூட்டர்ஸ் வாட் ஆர் தோஸ் ஐ கெஸ் யூ குட் சே வி வர் மர்சனரிஸ் வாரியர்ஸ் ஃபார் பே எக்ஸெப்ட் அ லாட் மோர் லாயல் தென் தட் மேக்ஸ் இஸ் சவுண்ட் Avad couldn't have taken down his father without our metal and muscle. And now some of us serve proudly as his personal vanguard. Okay, Padina, three tribe of Nora, Garja, Asaraman. Three tribe of Ruge. I want to ask you about something you said before. That means that the mission is not going to be able to do it. That means that the mission is not going to be able to do it. Proving thing. Uh, maybe i'll see you in meridian some day who knows kandipa meridian varuva okay so you you get a pay chaachi what about vala okay man is strong you get a pay strong olin kita hello olin you know my name ah guess aaron told you why did you act so strange when we ah. spoke earlier must be this festival i'm really not one for crowds maybe i should just turn in Stop dodging my questions. Oh, the police were wrong. All right, cool your fire. I got nothing to hide. Okay. Uh, modala vande on the focus again kandu pichcha. I've never seen anyone else with a focus. Where exactly did you find it? In a ruin north of the claim. That's our name for the Asaram homeland. Up there, the metal seams run deep. Steel giants half buried in loose soil, forgotten caves that the old ones bored into mountain rock. Your eyes just lit up. I found my focus in a cave just like you're describing. A ruin of the old ones. If you've delved yourself, you know as much as I do. Go to those places for answers. Not me. Okay, we also found that. First of all, your focus malfunctioned. When we spoke earlier, you winced. Then looked like you were in pain. Or frightened. Did your focus show you something? It didn't show me anything. I told you. It malfunctioned. Happens all the time. கண்டிப்பா அவங்க ஏதோ மறைக்கிற மாதிரியே இருக்கு கேட்டு பாப்போம் ஒயர் லைட் மீ டு யூ ஆல்வேஸ் அக்யூஸ் பீப்பிள் யூ ஜஸ்ட் மேட் ஆஃப் லைங் ஓன்லி தி ஒன்ஸ் ஹூ ஆர்ட் டெல்லிங் தி ட்ரூத் ஃபயர் அண்ட் ஸ்பிட் கேர்ல் ஐம் எ பிளேன் ஹாமர்ட் மேன் வித் நதிங் டு ஹைட் யூ டோன்ட் பிலீவ் மீ தட்ஸ் யுவர் ட்ரபல் நாட் மைன் ஓகே ஓகே காம் டவுன் காம் டவுன் சே நீ யார் வாட் ஆர் யூ டுயிங் ஹியர் ஆல் வை கம் டு நோரலாண்ட் Aaron needed a scout for his expedition and a second for his drinking. That's all. Someone to stop the sun priest getting lost. When all this is over, I'm back to delving ruins, rummaging for scrap, scrounging up trinkets to sell. So you're an explorer? Just another outlander girl. A man's got to make his shards. I just make mine in service to the king's court. That's all. So okay, they don't மறைக்கிறான்ட் <laughs> always best to make every day count. nada vithyasama solra naalikku endumo seiya poranungala ivunga nam be hunter large la hunter large poi la ini night spend pannite naalikku kaala proving aarambikano okay adukku munadi ipo ivu indha kadha la pesi mudikkadhukku half an hour aayiduchu அடுத்த எபிசோட் கண்டினியூ பண்ணலான்னு நான் திங்க் பண்றேன் அப்படி சேவ் பண்ணிக்கிட்டே சரி இப்படி போகக்கூடாது அப்படி போகணும் ஆக்சுவலாக இங்கே வந்து அது இருக்கு சேவ் பாயிண்ட் முதல்ல சேவ் பண்ணிக்கிட்டு நான் வந்து அடுத்த எபிசோடில் அந்த லார்ஜில் தூங்கி அதுக்கப்புறம் ப்ரூவிங் முடிப்போம் இந்த எபிசோட்லேயே வந்து ப்ரூவிங் முடிச்சுடலாம்னு பார்த்தேன் ஆனால் உள்ளே வந்து பார்த்தா கதை வந்து வேற வேற மாதிரி ஓப்பன் அப் ஆகுது சூப்பராக இருக்குது ஸோ அடுத்த எபிசோடில் போய் நம்ம ப்ரூவிங் முடிப்போம் ஸோ அதே மாதிரி தான் இந்த எபிசோட் உங்களுக்கு பிடிச்சிருந்தா லைக் பண்ணுங்கள் எதனா சொல்லுனா கமெண்ட் பண்ணுங்கள் எல்லாருக்கும் ஷேர் பண்ணுங்கள் சப்ஸ்கிரைப் பண்ணுங்கள் உங்களை நான் அடுத்த வீடியோவில் பார்க்குறேன் அது வரைக்கும் பத்திரமா இருங்க பி சேஃப் டேக் கேர் பாய் க